Hey everybody, welcome to another week of our Project 52 reunion tour. We are here with the cast of The Last Supper. Yay! <laughs> so we have Jerry, Matt, Tom, Ray, and Emily. And for anyone who did not see the original film, um, it was so much fun to make. And we are so excited to have our largest cast reunion yet. So that is super cool. Um, sadly, Sean can't be here with us tonight because of a scheduling thing, but he said the show must go on in true Sean fashion. Um, and the one thing he wanted me to say, and this is it, he just said one thing, was to apologize to Emily for making her scream so much. <laughs> there was a lot of, I, I remember a lot of screaming. That's, that's what I remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I my mean, neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised the cops weren't called, honestly. <laughs> I was just going to say, were the cops called? No, no. That no. is miraculous and horrifying all of the same time <laughs> really very are. true yeah. <laughs> she's tom did you like warn your neighbors ahead of time like hey by the way there's going to be a banshee happening no well you know one on one side i didn't really speak to them much <laughs> uh, if at all and and not politely <laughs> and the other side wouldn't have cared. They're good friends of mine. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. So, all right. I got a little bit ahead of myself. We want to check in. So how is everybody doing? Like, let's just start there. Um, it has been 10 years, um, probably not 10 years since we saw any of you, but you know, it's, it's always good to check in. And so 10 years, what has changed and what has stayed the same? So Emily, we're actually going to start with you because Matt, <laughs> Matt had actually talked about in the Heart and Souls reunion. He's like, I was in my 20s. Everything yeah. has changed. Like so much in my life has changed. So Em, you're in the same boat that like you were at Suffolk and mm. still a student. So what has changed? What has stayed the same? Wow. First of all, I can't even believe that it's been 10 years and that's just gross. <laughs> um, wow. 10 years. Yeah. So like I'm 30, which is, I like blinked and that happened. And um, so to think back at being 20 and it's just crazy because so much has changed, but also like not that much, but um, you know, I, don't really know where to start but I mean I obviously went to Suffolk thrived at Suffolk you know had a great career at Suffolk I transferred to Adelphi and did not uh like it um and I think down the line a few years later when I started uh going to acupuncture therapy uh is when I realized that I uh, Adelphi was not for me because I had extreme anxieties a lot of my anxieties which is really what held me back, uh, you know, from pursuing anything with theater, singing, all that stuff. So long story short, I am now a staff accountant, uh, which is odd because Emily Procknicki and math and numbers was never a thing. Like the one side of your brain that is, is creativity and all of that is me. And then numbers is like two plus two is seven. So now I'm an accountant, which is crazy to think I'm going to be going back to school uh, for business and accounting uh, within the next few months, hopefully online school. All of this uh, is through my job. I uh, work for a non for profit concern for independent living. Um, they, uh, it's a great agency. Honestly, they provide housing for people with mental health disabilities, but also affordable housing. Uh, which is very hard to come by on Long Island. So um, I started there as an administrative assistant. I worked my way up to uh, an office manager of the main office. And now uh, back December, uh, I was offered the position of staff accountant to uh, hopefully grow. And I mean, they had these high hopes of me being the assistant controller. That's a little too far, but we'll see where it takes me. So I'm still on Long Island, kind of just 
went from singing, dancing, and all of that jazz to now an accountant. Crazy. That's like the short version of my life right now. I can see, but that's that's where I'm at. Thirty years old, staff accountant. Who would have thought? Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Emily, I'm I'm just so excited for you that your journey has brought you to the nonprofit sector because you are somebody that has always had such a huge heart, but I think sometimes you like try to put up this exterior of like, no, no, I'm not that person. And so for yeah. you to be working nonprofit specifically for people struggling with mental health and affordable housing like that's amazing and I love that you may be in a field that you're like how did I get to be here but at the same time it is such a like perfect dynamic for your heart so I I love that that's awesome good for you hey. um Ray how about you what's going on on your end what has changed what stayed the same well we did the film 10 years ago and I have nine-year-old twins right now so wow that like all happened since yeah for real oh my god kind of amazing yeah uh i've done a lot of film and tv work and uh right now i'm actually working as a trainer for people who are trying to get agents and managers in the professional world so uh I'm working on my own getting a, a big I think you froze, Ray. Oh no. Yep. An agent and while I was working this helps all your materials together. Uh, he approached me about work with the other people that he works with to help train them. And so I've been doing that for the past month and uh, it's been great. It's so satisfying. It's so amazing just helping them to develop their interview skills in such a long way. From they started and then now I'm getting all these like thank yous from people who you know all the like thanking me so that's really amazing feeling uh in addition to that I had a car accident a little over two years ago sitting at a red light somebody smashed into the back of my car and that has resulted in me needing now surgery unable to 20 second I'm scheduled for next surgery try and help out with that thing and uh i'm also a tax accountant i've been a tax accountant for many many years uh emily so i i get the whole like creative brain and math brain thing from people but it really works for me. and especially being that i'm a, a tax preparer i don't do it year round so it's nice to do it for a couple months and then the rest of the year I'm able to concentrate on my my acting and my creative side. So, uh, you know, still happily married. Uh, two great kids. Um, I have my house still here on Long Island. I'm not looking to rebel for it. That would be amazing. And, uh, Life, except my, my back and neck injury, life is treating me well. I'm very yeah. happy. I, I'm so sorry to hear about the car accident and, and all of the injuries that you sustained because of it. Um, your your reception was a little spotty as you were sharing. So you were talking about like starting to kind of mentor other people who are looking for agents. Um, and kind of build their brand, so to speak, in, in the performance world. Um, and then you like mentioned your kids briefly, um, but then it got a little bit spotty somewhere like in between all that. Um, so I just wanted to ask, is there anywhere else that we could see you? I know I, I know that I've seen you a bunch of times and Sean and I will just pause the TV and be like, there he goes! <laughs> 
Yeah, well, I mean, the acting business is no easy thing to maneuver. So uh, I've, I started off before actually doing this film, doing a lot of background work, but uh, I've gotten some nice roles. Got to arrest Alec Baldwin and Blue Jasmine, and I had Woody Allen have me deliver the Miranda rights to him as he was being arrested. And that was uh, the highlight of my my whole like career, getting to work with him. And there were other opportunities where I, I got a chance to tackle Joel McHale on a show called Difficult People. So I got to do a stunt there and stunt driving in uh, a couple projects. Uh, a three old guy that had Matt Dillon in it. Oh, that wow. Was the thing I did in the scene. We just like cross paths and I just barely almost hit him. <laughs> so, wow. Very cool. That was kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. So, fun things. But, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of work that goes into making money in the, in the business. I have vintage cars that I bring to movies and makes money for me. You know, I'm vested in my pension. I've had coverage for uh, medical up until this year, because if you don't work enough, you don't get medical insurance. But, you know, for years I've gotten medical insurance through sag after union. So it's a, it's a great way to, you know, make your way in the world because you're able to do something that you love it's a lot of fun and uh and i've made a really decent living but i've hustled a lot mm. so. thank you ray but now uh, i'm ready to it's it's cool ready to, to really hear. break in and try and get a lot of auditions yeah it's really cool to hear somebody that is still um putting themselves out there to make a go of it because i think that you know for so many of the people that we worked with during the project, we were pulling from like Suffolk Community College. It's a, it's a local college near yeah. us. And so, so many of the people were like these bright eyed 20 somethings. And yeah. so to hear your story um, is really cool and, and wonderful. I think such an encouragement too, for people that maybe invest in something else in their life and that is their focus and then they're like hey you know what i'm gonna kind of go back to this so that's that's really cool thank you uh tom how about you what is new what has changed what has stayed the same tell us ever i mean your hair obviously let's let's start there <laughs> yeah. but tell us everything <laughs> Uh, my hair has changed <laughs> because because I was one of those bright eyed twenty year olds, you know, at Suffolk. <laughs> well, part of that's true. I was at Suffolk. Um, in two thousand eighteen, actually, I was having a high school reunion, and one of my sisters said to me, "You know, at, at our age, I can't believe you still grow your hair. You're still growing it like that. And you should be <laughs> so happy you're allowed. I, she says, you should just let it grow. I'm like, okay. So I haven't cut it since 2018. Uh, <laughs> September of 2018 was the last time. So, wow. You know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So when we made this film, I was in my 10th year at Suffolk. And I had just moved to that house where we did it. Um, and I stayed there for the next 10 years, for 10 years, and I stayed at Suffolk and did a lot of shows there. Um, and then I officially retired from there in 2019. Um, and I went and did real estate in New York City. Uh, I worked for the Quintic Workering Group for a year, but then COVID hit. And of course, uh, real estate was no more for a while because now I guess it's booming, but um, you know, for a while it was nothing because um, you couldn't show stuff, you couldn't show properties, you know, you could do virtual things. And then they had rules where you could only work with established clients and I was new in the business and everything. So it just wasn't working. Yeah. So then I sat around and did nothing really and um, said, what should I do? I guess I'll go back to academia. So I got a job down here in Lafayette, Louisiana in the deep south. 
Um, it's a very interesting place. I moved here in July, so it was very hot, uh, very, very hot. And, um, you know, I'm teaching now, I'm teaching remotely, so I don't really have the interaction and I'm not real fond of my job. So I am looking to leave again. Hopefully, hopefully this summer I'll be leaving and relocating again. Mm. Uh, where to? I don't know. We'll see. What has stayed the same is that in all of this, I've actually learned that I have three incredibly wonderful friends who have been my friends for this entire time. And one who is here, of course, and Emily, who I have such deep love for and always will, and that will never change. My God. And so, oh, you're going to make me cry over here. <laughs> well, you know, that's true. And <laughs> in my office here, next to my Emmy and my Oscar and my Tony, I keep this. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh! 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 my gosh. Because I, I was love thinking that. today, you know, no matter where your filmmaking careers go, yours and Sean's, that... Every villain you ever have now will be measured by me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is amazing. It's so funny because we referenced the award ceremony in one of our earlier um, reunions and people were almost like, we did that? There was, well, now they see was what award? the awards looked like. They were very good, very clever, very well done. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that! And what what was your what was your award for, Tom? Uh, best villain. Best villain! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Very cool. Oh man, thank you for bringing that out. That was like such a cool thing. That's awesome. All right, so I am going to give you all the stats before we watch the film. So the Title was The Last Supper, obviously, y'all know that. Um, the theme was redemption. The genre was horror. And the random element was YouTube. So apparently, people from YouTube gave us these things, which I did not remember that at all. But in in our description link on YouTube for this movie, it actually says like YouTube audience picked this for us. Yeah. And so, oh hi Chrissy. Hi. <laughs> um, and so we actually were able to put this together in a week as as we did everything else by using the YouTube audience's suggestions, which is kind of neat. And I didn't remember that at all. Um, and the film currently has 1,394 views. Wow. <laughs> so not, not nearly as many as I would think because it's definitely like, in my opinion, one of our like more fun movies. And it's definitely, definitely it's definitely in the top five, I, I would say. Yeah, so like uh, it's always interesting. I mean, in truth, and not to throw shade at all, but yeah. like Black Rain is the week before, and that has fifty eight hundred views. And I'm like, what's happening in Black Rain that got fifty eight hundred <laughs> views? That people are like, I need that Black Rain. I gotta see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of an interesting thing. All right. Um, Ray, is your daughter someplace else? That way we can watch the scary yes. movie. Yeah, she just came in for me to get her something out of the cabinet. Oh, she's okay. Not, she's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to start playing it with Chrissy oh. there. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. <laughs> okay, can everybody see this? Yes. All right, we're going to keep the volume up a little bit for the beginning. Sleepy <laughs> Jerry. There's my bald head as usual. <laughs> that hasn't changed. Things that have stayed the same. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think I still have that shirt. I actually don't, I don't hear it, Christine. You can't hear it? Oh, okay. oh wait, there it is, there, there it is. Oh my God, Matt, your hair! <laughs> Here it comes. This is the camera. Is Scorsese. I hate the ritual for legal reasons. Yes! I do. Okay, sure. Just leave it on auto on the tape, okay? Nothing fancy. You got it. Are you ready? He hasn't much time left. <laughs> How is it we found him again? I didn't. He had your number. Asked me to call. Said you would be able to help. So dramatic. <laughs> Coming, Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this. This is so crazy. Wow. Dude, like, this is all I'm familiar with. That. Uh -huh. It was so uh -huh. bad. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Switch. Thank you. Grandpa, this is Nathan. Good evening, sir. Soon. I'm so serious. <laughs> so you are the sin eater. Here to redeem me of all my dark deeds. Yes, the ritual will resolve you with everything. Everything? Yes. And I must thank you. Are you okay? Oh. What? Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a little tired. I'm <laughs> I love how I'm supposed to be Emily's best friend and this random guy's like, hey, can you videotape her grandfather's dying? Seriously, <laughs> Jerry also had to be super careful about opening up Tom's <laughs> pajama top because his nipples were pierced, which we will see <laughs> later on. <laughs> but it just made me laugh so much because in the bonus feature, he's like, hey. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's going on? Oh man. Thank you, Sunita. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Between the cars. Oh my god. I don't chill. This is creepy. Is there They're so formally dressed. Oh. In the basement? Why would that be a good idea? <laughs> That's a of great course, place to run. right? And we're everywhere else. We were at the front door and the back door. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this is cool. I remember this part. I do too. Your sins. Your grandfather's like me. I don't understand. He's a sin eater. Jerry's big monologue. Are you redeemable? Damn. Are you taking a long time to get this one? <laughs> Let me do the ritual. Release all the sins that were inside of them. They are sins personified. You're joking, right? Ray, you look so <laughs> creepy. I love it. <laughs> oh, 
Does this camera have night vision? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh my god. This time in the room with us. What do we do? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why do you go deeper into the basement? Guys, look on. Guys, here you go. Where'd you go? Oh yeah, Guys. this part. Guys. Oh man. So much fun. Troublesome grandpa. <laughs> oh no, this is a loud one. <laughs> that was your first reaction to that, right? Did yeah. You, yeah. Did you, to you oh, it? This part. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I only have chills. Oh my god, this is crazy. Why did it take Jerry so long to get out of the basement? <laughs> what were you doing down there, Jerry? I don't know. It was very dark. <laughs> <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, this is cool. I remember this. Her head. <laughs> this is my favorite part. There I am. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Extreme close up. Sorry, Jerry. Yeah. That's my nose. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> no! <laughs> Lunch time. <laughs> so good. So good. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> that was awesome. I have not seen that in 10 years. That was pretty freaking good. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was really good, and it was so much fun. We all had so much fun doing that. Yeah, that well because you and I love horror, Matt. So that yeah. was like right up our alley. Yeah, that was kind of awesome. like it. Yeah, yeah, kind of, <laughs> kind of, kind of. Oh my gosh! And what is incredible is Emily, your screams were one hundred percent like untouched digitally like yeah. sean didn't do any sound editing to those screens that was 100 percent you like yeah that, that <laughs> moment that moment when you back up like you backward crawl across the floor and then hit ray's legs that is one moment that like oh jesus my god y'all did that on purpose <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I, I mean, forgot about that too. Sorry, not sorry. No, I knew about it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh gosh. Oh. So yeah, my scream. Um, you could tell that I, like I said, love horror movies. So that, I mean, I totally like. I remember these things, but I obviously don't remember remember them so watching that was so cool because it's so well done like Sean and you just the way that was filmed like those moments like with Matt that that one was one of my favorite moments when Matt dies you know and then that moment we're waking up too and then this is so cool I mean and obviously the possession was my absolute favorite because I love horror and I want to be a, de a demon so cool <laughs> I love it that's that was so much fun well, no, I used to be a demon. I went to therapy, got acupuncture. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Awesome. That that moment of you going up against his legs, 
looking oh. up, the camera being on your face and then screaming is probably one of my favorite moments from Project 52. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, that's like, awesome. Every, every so often there is just a shot or a reaction or a look that you're like, oh God, that's chilling, wow. <laughs> and, and that is one of those for me that every time I see it, I'm like, oh, you're cool, yes. Well, thank you. That was awesome. I'm, I'm so happy I was able to do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. And, and I just want to say to our sins, Sean and I talked about it today and he actually said that there were supposed to be seven of you because it was meant to be seven deadly sins. Right. Because I said to him, like, why did we only have four? Like what happened there? And we had talked about like, well, filming and the schedule restrictions and everything being what they were, he wanted to have seven. And that way each one of you would have actually like embodied one of the different seven deadly sins. Uh, <coughs> and so that's, that's where that came from. But you four did such a creepy ass job that there was no need for seven because every yeah. time any one of you were on the screen was like, oh my God, no. <laughs> to be honest, there were there were so many quick shots of them that there could have been more than four. I actually didn't remember there were only four till you just said it. Oh, yeah. wow. I thought there were like five or six. Yeah, I thought there were six. Oh my gosh. And something that's really interesting is that, you know, Ray... Andrew and uh, Casey were all like, you know, doing performance or doing some version of performance, whether it be like stage management or behind the scenes or makeup or things like that, like in their regular day-to-day -day life. Denise, the fourth person, was a mom that I worked with her kids. So she has three boys with autism and her family is featured in our autism documentary, which will be revisiting in a couple of weeks um but Denise has never performed in anything to, to my knowledge but it was one of those things that I put out there like hey who's available and Denise was like can I do it I would love to try dude that shot when the lights come on outside the um uh, not stained glass what the heck is it the sliding yeah, glass, sliding glass. Yes. When that light comes on, and Ray, it's just you and Denise. She's doing such a good job. Like you're an actor, so I expected you to be creepy, but like she's like so in it. I was just like, damn, uh -huh. my gosh, it's it's unbelievable. Yeah. So, how about for you guys? What are some things that you remember? Some things that you like watching the movie are like, oh my gosh, dude, this like. What what is your take on things? But when I uh, I said it before when it happened during the movie, um, when Emily first sees that shot of the static and and then your face comes up, do you remember sh shooting that? That was so much fun. Like a couple of days before the actual shoot, when we shot that actual part, because um, it was it was you that did it, right? Wasn't it you? And then Sean just like filtered it a whole bunch and yes. Hold on one second, Jerry. Do you need to feed your cats or something? I hear like cat screaming. Oh no, that's that's actually me. I keep I keep muting my 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 camera because that's my bird. He's like right beside this door. He hears me talking and he's like, "Hey, I want in. If you're in there, oh, go ahead." So that that's why I keep muting him because a he's like persistent screaming. and sad sound. Oh my god! Let him out. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get one. I'll get him in a second. So maybe just know everybody knows I'm not a neglectful cat owner. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry. I never thought that was a cat. She, 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 Jerry, must be know. cats that are complaining that they need food because you don't feed them ever. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think there's a lot of suspicion around that, so I'm not buying it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have like you know animal protective services coming to. <laughs> Jeez, Jerry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, his name is Jerry Maggio. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'll, I'll text the address. Okay. Bye. <laughs> uh, Matt, go ahead. Finish telling us your story. Oh yeah, um, yeah. I just remember 
first of all, I remember shooting that. I remember you doing it and, and Sean like made it look really creepy and like inverted the, it was just so cool. And then when we did it, we were like, we're not gonna show it to Emily before we do the shot. Yeah. Right. And she was like, what are you guys showing me? Like, I have no idea what's gonna crawl out of this TV right now. Just tell me <laughs> what I'm expecting. We were like, nope. And yeah. I think actually, Another angle, if we watch the bonus features, I think the other angle is in the bonus features where you actually see her. She's like, I hate you guys. <laughs> yes. I do remember that. And that was very mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Tom, how about you? Do you have any like favorite memories that stick out to you or like moments in, in the video that you're like, damn, that part was awesome. I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna see if maybe he'll come join me in here. Sure. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I think the same too. That those those moments that you've already said. I love the um, sliding glass door, the light going on. That one was a big thing, especially because mm -hmm. I live there. You know, so <laughs> every time I walk downstairs after that moment, <laughs> you know, you always kept looking to see if there's people in the sliding glass doors <laughs> looking back at me. Oh, we should go there one day. Oh my gosh, that was it. so creepy. <laughs> and Tom's not lying because I was I've spent many a days at Tom's house and in the basement. And every time I go to that basement, if the lights uh, were off, I would and it was dark, I would make sure to look out the window because <laughs> of that moment. I'm not kidding. And wow. Really, the only thing that really got better with that was we had Halloween parties. Right. And so then I got over the idea of that because you know the rest of the house was just as scary. <laughs> yes, yes. I did it. I still was scared all the time. <laughs> so. And and for the viewing audience, when Tom says Halloween parties, what he means is Halloween masterpieces. Like Tom's Halloween parties were not your average Halloween party. It was like horrifying from the second you walked into the second you left but also so much fun, but like the the production value <laughs> that you had for those parties were just incredible. Well, Emily and I spent a lot of time. <laughs> and it was a theatrical experience. A lot of hours a party. and yeah. some arguing and some, <laughs> but we always pulled it off. Oh my gosh, wow. Um, Ray, how about you? What is a moment that just like always sticks out for you? Oh, that when when Emily turns around and she's all like, oh, I remember shooting that. And then when I just saw it, I was like, I saw it right before she turned in my mind. And then when she turned, I love that moment. That's like <laughs> amazing. Yeah. And just and all those shots of of us tormentors are just those like etched themselves into my memory. So I was like, right before we saw them, I was like, oh, I know it's coming. <laughs> So yeah. remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, Matt's death, like that that feeling of like, you know he's dead. You know something's about to happen. And you're just kind of oh, like, right. oh no, not Matt, not his sweet little face. What are you gonna do? And then he falls and his eyes are all like crazy looking, and he's <laughs> like, ah, damn. And then Emily going up against Ray's legs, looking up and screaming always gets me. Um, the extreme close-up on Jerry's face is always so uncomfortable because I'm like, oh, you're holding it for so long. Like, oh, just get to whatever's going to happen. Like, there's so many suspense-filled moments that are just, like, uncomfortable that, like, that moment of the close-up on Jerry's face, I'm like, I can't look at this anymore. Just go to whatever's going to happen. And then, of course, oh, of course, is thank you, Sin Eater. Like, I, <laughs> I cannot hear a really good maniacal laugh. Thank you, Sin Eater! <laughs> I, I can't hear a good maniacal laugh without yelling out, thank you, Sin Eater, in response to like the TV or movie, whatever I'm watching, that is so good and like indelibly a part of my memory for forever. Like that will never not be amazing for me. So thank you all of you guys for all of your hard work and your um, 
dedication. Does anybody remember how long you had with the script? Oh, wow. I think, wasn't it still kind of being worked out when we, uh, <laughs> when we got to Tom's house? <laughs> yes, and actually, that's why when Jerry had the monologue, I was like, shout out to Jerry, because like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were reworking that up until the minute that it was happening. And you were like, just tell me what I have to say. <laughs> that's funny. Believe- that's why I guess that's why I, I like for some reason seemed familiar that I think that scene took a while to to like do. And but now now I know why it's not my fault. <laughs> no, no. Oh my gosh. Because you have like six or seven lines consecutively and like everything that we were shooting, people were like looking at their script in between. Okay, this is what I have to say. Okay, great, wonderful, all right. And so like, Jerry, the fact that you had like a larger chunk of lines, you were like, damn it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, gosh. All right, so does anybody remember what time we wrapped that night? Uh... It was definitely like two in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, was, probably, I think it was probably like, closer to three. Yeah. I, I, was, yeah. Three. I thought it was like three fifteen. Yeah. It was pretty late. Yeah. So this is actually you're gonna see in the bonus feature, I'm not gonna tell you, but um this is actually the first film that we went like way beyond normal hours. Um And I remember so specifically the feeling of camaraderie amongst the cast because the only person that absolutely had to stay were the people who were shooting and Tom because it was his house. But every (laughs) single person was like, oh no, I'm staying for the end. This is so cool. This is so exciting. And they were so like into it. And I think that, you know, this is probably the first film with that like intense feeling of camaraderie out of all of the different films that we had done earlier on, there was a lot of like very wonderful feelings and pleasant feelings and like appreciation kind of thing. But this was the first one that everybody was like, oh no, we're all in. Um, This this one for sure had a lot of really good energy. Yeah, the entire the entire process because everyone was so excited to because by by this point they were a couple weeks in so whoever wasn't involved in other ones were like oh I got to get in on this Project Fifty Two thing yeah and this was the one like it was horror everybody was like you know it's a great genre it's a great idea I'm working with great people you know and the whole time we were like what's going to happen because i think we were like we we were working out certain endings and we were like how are we going to bring it this way how are we going to bring it that way um so i think that's what kept the vibe up for sure was everybody was like on the same page yeah way. all right are you guys ready for the bonus feature yes oh yeah oh right. no here we go No, wait, that's not the bonus feature. Sorry, just kidding. All right, please hold. And we're back. Totally random thought uh, or memory. Ray, I think you and I carpooled for that filming. And I think, and for some reason, I think I remember because it was so late and I mean, who knows what we were eating at what point we were eating. I think we hit like a 7-Eleven on the way home. I don't know why, like that's just coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Does that sound yeah. right? And, yeah, like, this was open, especially yeah, exactly. back in those days. Yep. What the heck was open at, after three in the morning, probably. Okay. Is this bonus feature at five minutes and one seconds per scene? <laughs> yes, it is. Because I remember we were trying to get all the bonus features to just be five minutes. And I was Uh-oh. so editing these. I was so heartbroken because they were so little things we had to just cut out to make it five minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and and Matt is a saint because he would be in oh. our like living room <laughs> while Sean is editing the film. Matt's editing the bonus feature. And like the energy between the two of them was so intense and so tired and so like, I can't believe we're still doing this. <laughs> so I would come over and be like, Matt, you got to cut this, this, and this. And I didn't know how to edit. So the poor guy would just like 
okay. And he'd be like, but this part is so good. And I'm like, no, chop it. And he's like, oh, damn it. Hey. Oh. This is Casper, by the way, everybody. Hi, Casper. Hi, Casper. Hi. I love him. Thank you, Sin Eater. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god i would i would i would no i would have nightmares you, forever oh, don't eat the bird <laughs> yeah really he heard oh. that too <laughs> like what <laughs> all right we're gonna turn on the video and i hope that poor casper doesn't get traumatized <laughs> he's fine Matt, you're a baby! <laughs> Hi guys, this is Matt again from SLTM Films with this week's bonus feature Fridays. This week is going to be a behind the scenes of The Last Supper. Matt, I remember that whole outfit. Uh, oh my, that's so weird. I don't know why I remember not, that. It doesn't taste too what, good. What, what I was wearing? <laughs> yeah. Being a good actor and I'm reading my lines. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Brown. You're going along with the big one. Oh, there's Sean. Come on, take care of Matt's got like a goofy sidekick. Yay! I'm sure she feeds it. There it is. That hasn't changed.
So. That sounded like it hurt. <laughs> too close, too close, too close. Yeah. <laughs> Six feet apart. Six feet apart. Serious. <laughs> no social distancing there. <laughs> yeah. how I was like the uh, on the scene reporter. For yeah, all. you were the seriously. So oh, cute! That was cool. Oh my gosh! Fun. <laughs> I I think something that I really appreciate about that is seeing Jerry's like reaction to having to listen to Emily scream so much. <laughs> that while Jerry's face is like. <laughs> <laughs> doing it again like yeah. your yeah. response is so like <laughs> you're like oh god come on uh, you you're welcome that, <laughs> oh my gosh oh man Good it guy. it has been so much fun catching up with you guys and being able to watch this and revisit this with you i'm so sad that sean couldn't be with us he would have just loved this so much mm. but thank you guys for taking the time and for uh just you know working so hard for us then and being such a source of professionalism and support and you know it, it's it's so um touching to us to be able to revisit how many people were just willing to do anything and everything like it's it's not really real life that you can ask people on a weekly basis like hey give up your entire schedule do this crazy thing for me stay until all hours of the day and night and to, for people to just be like oh yeah no totally i'm in and so i think this film really like as weird as it is because there's so much screaming and death like it also really warms my heart because i just remember that camaraderie so fondly um watching watching that bonus feature specifically and i have to say that i miss those days where i'd get the text from christine and sean hey what are you doing next week you you want to like go shoot in the cemetery and you know broken road and you want to go sing and i'm like yeah totally yeah now i'm like no i'm gonna be in bed at like seven <laughs> 30 years old now but uh, yeah those are really awesome times and you and Sean were like god the, what you guys did and even just watching right. that even like watching the film brought chills because it was so creepy but then watching the behind the scenes and especially that moment that you and I had that I forgot about but like that was so weird it like really touched me because I you know you were just really directing me and I was just taking your lead and it, that was a really I'm glad that was in there because that was so freaking awesome and I don't remember that and it was just thanks to you so thank you because for having me in this film and for letting me be a part of this and also thank you Tom for telling me about this because at first I was like oh god I hate reunions but I'm like all right Tom, <laughs> I, I'm like all right and this thanks, is awesome Emily. so <laughs> <laughs> It's good to see I, you I, do. I, I, I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not a big reunion person, and you know, like, oh, what, if, like you said, what have you been doing? It's like, oh, you know, I wish I could say I'm, I'm Superwoman, but, but that's, this was awesome, so I'm really glad that I uh, chose to join. <laughs> I think, I think something that's really cool is, you know, Sean and I really wanted to approach this as a way of like revisiting the films, revisiting relationships, revisiting that community that we had kind of like all kind of come together with, um, but also to kind of like, but where are we now? Like, it's, it's not really meant to be a reunion that we're just living in the past. It's also like, 
we've all grown and changed a lot. Um, and actually something that uh, Dave really astutely did to us <laughs> in the Envy um, reunion was he actually turned it on us. And all these other reunions, we've been like, and how are you? And Dave was like, well, how are you? And so it was really interesting because we talked about like why we haven't really created that much in the 10 years since and kind of feeling that like anxiety and like stuntedness of like, we did such a big thing that like, how do you top that? How do you do something else after that when everybody's expectations are here and you're like, I'm always gonna fail. I'm always gonna fall short um, specifically for Sean. And so I think a major part of this, and Emily, I, I really love that you brought up the reunion aspect of this and how like just cringy it is, you know, like so many of us are like, oh God, a reunion. I don't want any part of that. But like, I think that's what's so beautiful about this aspect is being able to kind of say like, we did this and it was really cool. And we're celebrating it to be able to put it in the past to look forward to doing new things now. Um, and I think that that was something that like, I don't know that Sean and I really knew how cathartic this reunion experience would be for us in terms of the celebration, the love, the laughter, the community, but then it's, it's time to do something new. So that, that's, that's awesome. just been really cool. And yeah. you, you have a YouTube channel now? I'm sorry, Tom, what'd you say? You have a YouTube channel? Yes, yeah, we're still using the same one. It's SLTM oh. Films. So it has all of the films on it. It has all the bonus features on it. Okay. It has all these reunions. Um, so there's like lots and lots of content on the channel. Um, okay. Is that where those um, interviews were too? Like, like the, the one I alluded to at the beginning of the cool side of Emily and I? The beginning like, cool Those side. are all on there too? At the beginning of today, of today, when we first got together and I said, oh, it's the Tom and Emily show again. Remember Poolside? Yes. No. Okay. Did all those interviews, are those Wait, like, all on the channel as Now well? that you say that, didn't we, didn't we do something Poolside? Yeah, we did an interview with Christine. Yes. And, oh. it, and um, so did other people. She did interviews with a bunch of different people. And I'm asking, are those all, also on the YouTube channel? That's, I remember that. That's a great question. I actually completely remember interviewing the two of you and your like ridiculous hysterical banter. Like, right. I don't remember I where do. that is or like what we did with it. Right. Do you know if that was like a like follow our journey special or something? Like, what did we do with that? I don't know because you did them with different people. You did them with everybody, and I think some of them did them individually, but because of how Emily and I are, it was just easier to, for us to do it together. We and like, was it done? Was it done and we didn't plan or... anything out. I think it was supposed to be kind of planned out. We were just like, we'll just go talk and stuff. And we just kind of, you know, <laughs> at the top of the that must have been That must have been a follow-up journey. It must have been. I Now I think I remember it. It must have been a follow-up journey. Oh my okay. God. So, and you don't know where those things are, the follow-up journal? It's definitely one of the it's one of the Project Fifty Two films. I I can actually okay. I can I can take a look and see if I can find it and I'll send it to you both because like now that you're saying I'm like wow I just had this like flash of yeah. like, super vivid like the two of you sitting by the pool and yeah. like, just like going off and riffing on each other and like yeah it, it was just such a like wow I'm watching like my own personal reality tv show like what's <laughs> happening right now <laughs> I yeah, think it was I after, the, after the final film you know of the 52 weeks I think it was after that you did a thing where you went to people who had participated and did kind of a, a closure type interview thing with people but I don't know if it was ever I don't know. I, I think I've seen it because I think, I think I I've, saw but I don't it. remember where it was or or if it had a title or what it was. Wow. All right. I need to do some work on that <laughs> because I'm not sure. Um, that would just be really wild if we had planned a retrospective and then never actually did it. I, I honestly don't remember. Jeez. Wow. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, because I remember that too. And now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like it was other people than us yeah. who did it. That, yeah, that's so crazy, Christine, because like that you said you saw that image. So did I. Like Tom, I don't. I, Tom has the best memory though. Tom will literally tell you what he like ate for breakfast in nineteen like twelve. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough. <time. laughs> Hundred and nine. <laughs> I lost the math too. Oh my god! But anyway, uh, so it's got to be there somewhere. But uh, I do remember that. That's funny. Oh, sorry, I did that. You're filming, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's just not that way. <laughs> All right. So we, we are going to wrap up. Oh. Um, so thank you, everybody. And um, we will see you soon. Thank, thank you. you, Christine. Thank, thank you. you. This was so fun. It was so great to see all of you. Thank you. Really great. Thank you.